In this figure, we're going to talk about how osmotic pressure of a solution is determined. Now, it's important to note before we get into that, that in biological systems, there are really two different types of forces that will move fluids. One is an os osmotic force or an osmotic pressure, and the other is a hydrostatic pressure. And that's a pressure generated by compression of a fluid that generates a gradient of pressure driving fluid from one place to another, such as the heart's compression of blood creating a pressure gradient that drives it through our blood vessels. Now, if we look down here at the, on the left side, we have a U-tube separated, the two sides, separated by a semi-permeable membrane, right, water permeable only, in the middle here. And if we have pure water on one side and we have a solution on the other, what that means is that the chemical activity of water is going to be higher on the left side, the pure water side, than it is on the right side, where the solutes are essentially diluting the water. And so our net flux of water will be from the higher toward the lower chemical activity of water, so from left to right. Now, if we look in the middle panel, what that means is that as water moves from left to right, first we're going to dilute that solution to a degree, but we're also going to push it up the tube. Now, it will stop rising uh, up that tube on the opposite side when the gravitational forces on that column of water oppose equally the osmotic pressure of that solution. And so we would be able to determine, based upon the column, the height of that column of solution, our osmotic pressure of that solution, pi. One other way to determine this would be to put, if we go to the far right here, would be to put a cap on the solution on the right. Water is still driven in this direction. It can't actually move, right? But it's driven in this direction by the osmotic pressure of this solution on the right. But what we could do is we can measure the pressure on that cap and the pressure required to oppose the osmotic movement of water would equally be that uh, pi or the osmotic pressure of that particular solution.